Everybody should go through life running the way that Astudillo ran to make sure that he touched home plate to score the winning run. But really, the story of the Miami Marlins this year has been their pitching by self-proclaimed ace Sandy Alcantara. Tremendous job by him on the hill, not only yesterday, but really all season long. What did he do yesterday? Just another tremendous performance. He threw nine shutout innings. He gave up six hits, no walks against the Nats yesterday. The Marlins won two to one in ten. You saw it there with the Jesus Aguilar comebacker that went off the bag, scoring Astudillo. Pretty nice uh, job, though, by Alcantara this season. 4-0, a .56 earned run average over his last six starts. Not to be outdone by this guy, though, Tony Gonsolin. He takes the opposite approach. He mixes up his pitches. He doesn't throw gas like Alcantara does, but that 87.6 mile-per-hour slider, it's his best pitch. Gonsolin gave up just one run in six innings when he beat the White Sox. 4-1 to one yesterday. His 158 earned run average. It's second best in all of baseball behind only Martin Perez, who is also having a tremendous season for the Texas Rangers. You can see Tony Gonsolin there. You can see Alcantara there as well. It's also the sixth best ERA in Dodgers history through 11 starts. Pretty impressive company. Think about this. Hall of Famers Don Sutton, Don Drysdale, Sandy Koufax, and future Hall of Famer Clayton Kershaw. Nice job there by those arms to a very nice moment and a nice uh, gesture by the Tampa Bay Rays, Randy Arrozarena. During yesterday's game, a young fan named Alex gave him a ball to sign. The ball had Arrozarena's photo, jersey number, and name printed on it. He was so impressed with the ball that he decided he wanted to keep it himself. So instead, he brought a signed bat and a different signed ball to give to the child. Rosarena kept the ball with him. It's in his Rays uh, clubhouse locker there. The Rays were playing the Cardinals, and Alex was wearing a Yadier Molina jersey. Uh, Rosarena actually started his career with the Cardinals. He hit 319 games back in 2019. A nice moment for him and a forever moment for that fan. Well, Mike Sosha and Jimmy Rollins are going to be managing the All-Star Futures team. Of course, the Breakthrough Series is going on right now. You just heard from Tony Regans on that. Mike Sosha and Jimmy Rollins will manage the Sirius XM All-Star Futures team. Sosha will manage the NL. Rollins will manage the AL. The game will be played on Sunday, July 16th at Dodger Stadium. It is the first ever All-Star Saturday. After 20 years of USA versus the world, the Futures game went to AL versus NL starting in 2019. Sosha, 13-year big league career, of course. Rollins, a three-time All-Star four-time Gold Glove winner during his 17-year MLB career. Now he is a broadcaster, so congratulations to both of those guys. It's always fun to see the All-Star Futures games. Of course, this year, the All-Star game at Dodger Stadium. And speaking of the All-Star game, how about you get to vote? Get to voting, guys. The fan voting for the 2022 All-Star game began yesterday morning. Now, voting for Phase 1 will open, uh, be open through 2 p.m. Eastern on June 30th. During phase one, fans can vote up to five times each day, basically each 24-hour period. Phase one will narrow the field to two players per position in each league. Now six for each league for the outfield. And then phase two will determine the starter. So get to voting. If you don't vote, you can't complain. Get your favorite All-Stars to the All-Star game in Los Angeles. So it's going to be fun. LA, of course, was supposed to have the All-Star game in 2020, but we all know what happened there with the pandemic. So it now will happen there at Chavez Ravine in 2022.